Morning rays, morning rays, whistle the array. Great morning, rays of love, rays of rest, um, rays of joy. Um, I am Solia Ray. Welcome into Morning Rays with me. Um, I'm so excited that you decided to join me this morning um, for our short segment um, rooted in words of encouragement, chatting, and self-soothing practices. And so um, I'm really, really excited that you're here. If you are new, welcome. If you are remaining, I appreciate you so much. If you have not yet subscribed, please do that and turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss anything from me. Um, and also please engage through the like and comment features on the video. That is how we make this space collaborative um, and something that we build together, a morning routine that we build together. So I'd really appreciate if you do all those things. Um, the word of encouragement this morning, rays of love, is <laughs> rooted in us. Um, we are not our failures. We are not our successes. Uh, we are beings. Um, and so our existence is purposeful and it means something regardless of our failures and regardless of our successes. And so my encouragement today is, although we may experience success, um, we should not get haughty or arrogant in our success as if the success could not end, right? Um, and although we experience failures, we should not get so consumed in our failures um, and believe that our failures make up the totality of who we are. We internalize our failures and, and we begin to believe that we are failures ourselves. And that is not true and that is not the case. So again, we are not our failures. We are not our success. Um, we are beings. We were purposed long before we experienced either or um, and will be purposed beyond either or as well. So that was the word of encouragement. Rays of love, I hope you can take that. Um, and be encouraged today. I definitely need, I definitely needed that word of encouragement for myself today specifically. So please hold fast to that. Um, our self-soothing practice that we talked about last week was belly breathing. Um, I've been doing tutorials, like real quick tutorials uh, throughout the week. This probably will be the last day that I do that in um, this week's video. But we worked on belly breathing last week and it's inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Um, and our exhale is twice as long as our inhale. So I like to do three and six as the count. And so we're gonna inhale for three. So one, two, three. And then we're gonna exhale, blow that breath out of our mouth for six, two, three, four, five, six, so inhale, one, two, three, your belly should fill up like a balloon, and then exhale, two, three, four, five, six, and you should feel your belly flatten like a pancake and be pulled back towards your spine on your exhale. That was belly breathing. Please utilize that self-soothing technique in whatever context you are in. It is easy to deeply breathe um, when folks are around and not um, feel weird or strange because you just look like you're doing the natural process of life. Um, this week's self-soothing practice is journaling. Um, and so you just have three to five minutes to jot down um, some things in your notebook. Um, this practice is super, super, super helpful. Um, I've recommended it to my therapeutic clients. I've opened therapy sessions with journaling. I've closed them with journaling. I've assigned wellness work of journaling. Um, and it's something that I do daily um, to help just clear my mind space to support my overall mental wellness as well. And so, Yesterday, I gave the prompt of gratitude, um, making a list of your top five things you're grateful for, 
um, in your journal that really takes three to five minutes this prompt today might take a little bit longer and so the prompt today um, is rooted and focused in like our worries right it's easy to get caught up in this positive narrative like everything has to be positive we have to change all of our thoughts to positivity and da -da 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 -da. right i do believe that i do believe that the mind is a battlefield and we have to renew our minds and we have to consume the things that we want to think we have to consume the things that we want to do um and allow our minds to be focused and stayed on those things <clears throat> but we also have to acknowledge the things that are not well as well and so we were thankful yesterday and um, today i want us to focus on the things that we're worried about so whenever you get a moment in the notebook on a sheet of paper wherever you can um, write down some of the things that are are really weighing on you heavily this morning um, and acknowledge those things uh, i would say do three to five um, and take as much time as you need what things are really pressing on your mind what things still feel undone what things do you feel like you can't change or you can't alter what things are just really consuming you um, and allow writing them down to be one form out of release, even if it doesn't solve the worry or the concern. Um, acknowledging it often brings us some peace um, regarding the situation. So again, today's uh, self-soothing practice is journaling and the prompt today is writing down three to five worries or concerns that we may have going into this day going into this week overall um what are some things that are burdening you and write them down transitioning into our chat um this morning i i just talked about failures um, and success in words of encouragement and I chatted about our worries during the self-soothing practice um, and so wanting to be intentional about being transparent in the morning race so that y'all feel like y'all can also be transparent um, when you're sharing your things the internet is this place where we feel like perfection has to exist um, constantly and all the time and that really is not the case um, really ever bro <clears throat> perfection doesn't exist within ourselves um, and we have to get over that and I think we should present things with excellence but not perfection so all that to say um, transparently speaking I've been feeling really let down um, specifically by God <laughs> and it's so crazy to say because duality always exists I feel like God's been keeping me keeping me keeping me blessing me blessing me blessing me increasing my territory doing all this stuff protecting my family keeping my family all this stuff um, and it feels like in these areas where I don't see provision yet or I don't see it working out um, Like there's just this like distrust, this unbelief that's being for, and God is like central, centrally focused to my life. And however I feel towards Him um, impacts the way that I'm able to move about the world. And so uh, I know everybody's faith practice is not mine, um, and I understand that. But we all believe in something. Um, and when that something lets us down, like how do we respond and how do we react? Will we walk away from our systems of belief? Will we hold fast to them? Will we try something else? Um, I've walked away from God many times. Um, I've denounced, renounced my belief system in Jesus and all these things. Um, and I, I've had to <laughs> walk back towards it um, and really try it again in a different way 
that made sense to my cultural identity, to my being identity and all these different things. Um, and it's firmer now, but even in moments where it feels shaken because I don't feel like God has pulled up for me, um, trying to still navigate is navigate that is challenging. And so my question to you um, is when your belief system that helps you get through feels like it's failing, like what is your next? um option like what do you do next do you figure out another belief system to believe in um do you walk away completely do you internalize this thing and make it a like you're doing something wrong or this speaks to inadequacies in you what do you do during those moments um <laughs> Thank y'all so much for joining me this morning for Morning Rays. Again, I am Celia Ray. Uh, there is musical content being uploaded on Wednesday for the movie release. I'm really, really excited about sharing more of that gift with y'all. And so I hope you will tap in with me on Wednesday for the movie release. I will for sure see you guys tomorrow morning.